Listen, we've had such an exciting day at the second um, day of the 4IR Summit at the Central University of Technology. And we finally have our last guest for the day. I don't know, we're saving the best for last. We don't know. It is we <laughs> might. <laughs> I'm it not sure, but we might. <laughs> it is Felix from MTN. So, what are we doing today? Look, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that you know. I have not to. what are we doing today, but what we did over the last yes. few days. Yeah. Yes. Because I think, you know, you, you just said it now, um, to think that we've come to the end of this really successful summit. Yeah. If you walk around and you, you speak to the people that have been here since yesterday morning, the, the, the message and the conversation is, is so spot on and mm. common to say, we maybe should even think of having other platforms and forums mm. that bring us together in this nature and not necessarily have to wait until until next year. For you, what is the importance of that? Having platforms such as these yes. that, you know, we're having conversations that are much needed and not only among the older generations, but it's young people as well. We saw people from primary schools as young as that. What would you say is the importance of platforms such as these? I, I think it, it, it brings about reality. Mm. You know, oftentimes we sit in boardrooms and we say, we want to put 4IR into practice yes. and, and, and then you, you wait for months and months and months. But a platform such as these, it actually makes you realize that you don't have the luxury of time. Whatever it is that you say you want to do, yeah. you honestly got to do it as in yesterday. Mm. And, and, and that's what we're excited about. I mean, as, as MTN, we've got an ambition 2025 that we're chasing. And at the heart of that is really about connecting Africa. Mm. We, we operate in 23 different, different countries in Africa and we've been very successful in some of them. And what we're saying is why don't we bring some of those successes not only to South Africa, mm -hmm. but to the free state. Hmm. And what would you say is that one thing, because we've come to the end of the 4IR Summit, we're only going to see it next year around this time. So what would you say people should do in the meantime to maybe get more insight or to learn about the 4IR Summit? What is that one thing that you say that they should keep on doing up until we come to the other summit next year? Um, I, I think the one thing should be they, they, they need to, to literally reach out every single day. So we, we had organizations here that were represented. We had, we had Standard Bank. We had, yes. you know, we had Free State uh, Development Corporation. We had the Botabelo Digital Hub. So my plea would really be to say, you have now been exposed to the commitment that all of us as stakeholders have said, we are available. What is it that you need to do as a youth? Reach out to us. Knock, knock, knock on doors. I mean, yes. you know, the premier said it yesterday. If 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 we don't feel an irritation from the youth yes. after this summit, then we haven't we haven't done something right. Yeah. You know, we should be at that level where we are really being irritated by school kids, wherever they wherever they see us when 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 they come to our offices, they must say, "You made this commitment at the summit, and I'm here wanting you to to to, to deliver." That's so I think that's that's really the one key thing that. Mm. Uh, I would ask each and every participant, whether you were listening online or tuning in whichever platform, please do us a favor, reach out and let's make this work. Now can we more in depth talk about, did you say Mission 2025 or Vision 2025? Ambition 2025. Ambition, can we talk about that? Um, yeah, look, um, I, th I think our, our group CEO, Mr. Ralph and Peter, um, took a very deliberate stance um, mm. about a good two years ago. And that was to, to look internally what it is that we have that we have not maybe really maximized. And the two key things that came out of that was in Africa, there's this massive gap and parity when it comes to fintech. Mm. There's a lot of people that are unbanked, and yet we are possibly one very, very rich continent. Mm. Now, what can we as tech co companies do in order to bridge that fintech divide? The second one, which is very parallel to that, was there is this massive, massive digital gap that unfortunately continues to widen, even if we come to forums and platforms such as these and we talk 4 hour, 4 hour, 4 hour. So that ambition 2025 is to ensure that as much as possible of the African continent is covered from a connectivity point of view. And then once that is reached, is to then utilize that connectivity in order to can really grow economic um, avenues 
within the areas that we operate in. So that, that is really at the heart of it all. We're saying we're providing connectivity. Now that we've provided connectivity, come on, let's make money. Yeah. Let's grow economies. So, so it was a five-year plan. We are two years into it. What has been the progress? And well, what is there still to be done? Yeah, no, look, I mean, in, in, in terms of progress, it's, it's, it's colossal. Mm. You know, the, the fact that we can have really like-minded conversations, especially with public sector, that, in my opinion, is one, one massive, massive achievement. Mm. You know, we, we have often operated in, in silos, however we're trying to address the common and the same problem. And in the last two years, we have seen a massive acceleration in getting governments to sit on the same table. Yes. We look each other in the eyes and say, how are we addressing these problems? Um, and and, and it, it, it goes more beyond, I'm trying to get business out of it, mm. you know, and I think that has been one massive success. Um, yes, the, the road is still pretty long ahead. Um, are we going to be able to achieve what we want to achieve by 2025? I'll be very honest with you, I think we might even achieve it before then. Now that's a flex right there. I guess the future is then bright. Okay, we need to wear glasses. <laughs> we need to wear glasses. Okay, we're gonna thank you so much, Felix. I don't know if you maybe wanna ask me one more question, but I think we have gotten um, just in closing, what would you like to say um, to someone out there that's sitting at home, mm -hmm. you know, that doesn't really have that much excitement about what the future holds or really doesn't want to do much. What would you say to that person? Look, you know, I think yeah. Um, the last two years, life has, has, has dealt us a, a, a curveball. It took yes. a 360 a turn. Hey. Um, something that we didn't even think that we'll have a, you know, the remedy to get out of. Mm. And, and I think especially to the youth that possibly, to your point, don't, don't pretty much know what the future holds. It got even more difficult for them. Yeah. Sure. However, I'd, I'd really like to urge each and every youth person to look around within the communities that they are, they are living in and that they are residing in and together try and identify those opportunities. Mm. Gone, gone are the days where Felix Alimung Uduzi Konenyahai trying to figure it out. Yes. It's, 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 got, it's got into that. Collaborations, collaborations, collaborations mm. is going to be the order of the day. And that's what I'd like to, to really implore our youth out there to say, let us, let us use that. Walk two, three streets away from you mm. and go and find out what Tabo is doing that is really trying to make a difference in their community. Mm. And at the heart of that, let us bring technology into it and we're gonna see how the wheels of change will accelerate. Amen. Thank you so, so, so much um, for, sharing <laughs> <laughs> for sharing all of this with us. Now, there's so much information out there. There's so much knowledge that we have to grasp, yes. right? So, we have one more interview for One you more. Because we're not done. We are here to work. So do keep it locked on our screen. Um, we are still having conversations regarding the four hour Technologies right here on PCA Online Channel with myself, Angela Linda, and the Chalk.